Hello, welcome to this Final Cut Studio tutorial. Had a question. What is the best way to go about sending your projects from Final Cut and burning them onto DVD? Now, there is actually a really straightforward way where you can just press File, Share, and this allows you to either publish to YouTube or you can see there's actually options to send it straight to DVD. Uh, However, for advanced projects and multiple exports, the, the the habit you want to get into is using Compressor, which has far more functionality and flexibility when it comes to rendering and exporting your files, but this is a very quick way, and then you literally just choose the destination, and this is actually the file names you compress. What you actually want to do is name each render, a render is just the um, compiling into a new video, so you would want to call this R01 if this is your first render or if it's the second render R02 uh, the reason you want to do this is you want to avoid calling them um, render new because you have no idea how new that is and then you'll be end up with a a new new file and then a even newest and your best one will be the best newest file yet and you won't actually know which one came first so just number them it's really simple. But to send to compressor, um, what you want to do first is just set the in and the out points. You can do that by just pressing I at the start of the uh, timeline and then go to the end. You can see I've already set mine by just pressing O. You can set it here by just pressing O. And then you can see the out point, which is indicated by this arrow here, which is also here in the timeline. So we've got my timeline, it's ready to go. This is actually my short film Mondays, which you can uh, check out on my YouTube. And we're just going to go File, Send to, Compressor. Obviously, this is a bit daunting, maybe. If you've never used Compressor before. The way it works is, this is your file. This is Mondays, it's now in Compressor and it, you can see it very simply says drag settings and destinations here so what you want to do you just want to go down to your settings um, yours will probably look like this um, you just want to collapse these and go to DVD depending on how long it is and how big your DVD is you really always want to be going best quality realistically um, and here are the two files you've got the audio file and you've got the video file uh, the way DVDs work is that you actually have to separate files you can't have a single video file and we literally just drag and drop these two settings onto the uh, onto our file, which is Mondays. You can see it's called Mondays, which is according to uh, this project here. Just go back into Compressor, and you can actually alter some of the settings here. And this is what I mean by the uh, flexibility. It gives you far more um, changes and stuff that you can play around with. You can set the bit rate and all the more advanced features that you come to expect when you're trying to compile stuff accurately. And obviously the other important thing is that we can add new jobs. So from this same file, we can see it's the same file because it's just one big blue old square. You can add different settings so we could add other formats such as MPEG-2 and drag that and then that will create an MPEG-2 output as well. But we don't want that so we can remove this target. And this just leaves two files. Over here in the preview window, um, we can actually scrub through. And you can see that we've actually got a split down the middle. So we just maximize this frame. And you can see if we're going to get any um, artifacts, any loss of quality through the encoding. What you can start to see is a few lines, um, which aren't always what you want. But that is more of a matter of the aspect ratio the way DVD works is that it stores it as a square video file and it stretches it out it just records it has the information on the file telling your TV to stretch the image out so you're getting a slight a very slight loss in quality mainly because this is HD this is SD that is the bottom line but you may want to like mess around with some of the settings for that, maybe increase the bitrate a tiny bit, but I wouldn't mess around with stuff too much in case you do something that your actual DVD player cannot handle 
you don't want to be messing around like a madman. Compressor knows best, basically. And then, very simply, what you can do is just press submit. You can uh, name the project. This means if you have to close down the project during the render, then you can load up all the um, orders and all the files that are going to be compressed and you can actually save the compression project and then you can load it back up and carry on where you were up to last time and you can also use other computers to set up a render farm um, but we won't go into that and then you literally press submit, you choose your destination um, oh yeah sorry, this is the name of the file where it's going to end up the source is linked to the project so don't change the source so thank you very much for watching, I hope this was useful you can now um, render this out. What I actually like to do is literally press File, Export, QuickTime Movie, and that will preserve the quality that you have come to expect in the actual project file. And then, from that master file, and you can even call it master render followed by the number, depending on which render number it is, and then I actually prefer to use Media Encoder. Um, I think mainly because I don't have to do some of the complex tasks that Compressor is built for so I just like to keep it simple, I put it into Media Encoder and I choose an output file and destination um, which I've got a tutorial on how to use Media Composer and then I create all different subfiles, some for DVD, some for YouTube, all out of the master file but th if you don't have Media Enco Encoder or Adobe then this is how you do it with Compressor and then you just load up these two files that you've rendered out and you put them into DVD Studio Pro and you can follow my DVD Studio Pro training series which is in the link in the description the link is in the description below not the other way around don't know how that would work Damn. what about the castle